tired. This is my cat. This is Pia. Hey, hi. Can you look somewhat entertained? She loves me. So are you really gonna do this right now? This isn't about you. Goodbye. So Hello. welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Olivia, Lulu, Daytripa, whatever you want to call me. So I'm doing something a little different today. I'm going to be doing this. I don't know why, I just felt like doing this. I am filming two videos today, so I'm kind of jumping around. And to be honest, I was going to change my outfit so it didn't look like I was filming two videos in one day, but it's raining outside and I'm comfortable. So if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't really been uploading Sim videos. Um, there is a reason for that. And specifically that reason is my mouse kapooped on me. Uh, I have a Logitech, you know what? Let me just go get it. That makes so much more sense. One sec. Okay, back. So I've had this, the Logitech trackball for a few years now. I love this mouse. It makes it so easy to build because I just like the fact that my hand's not moving around. I'm just moving my thumb. So right after my birthday, it stopped being recognized by my computer. Turns out it's a USB 2.0. It's a few years old. I'm like out of breath. I hate stairs. And my computer, which I just recently got to do speed builds, has USB 3.0. Now, the guy at Best Buy said they're supposed to be compatible. It's not. Like, I'm just gonna, I don't know if anyone else has experienced this. I don't know if anyone has. Anyone has a solution to this and wants to let a system know because I really miss this mouse. Like, I can't use it right now. I went to Best Buy and I was like, I'm just gonna buy another one. And then I like, I saw something really cool. I got a little excited and I bought this. <laughs> so this is the Windows Surface mouse. And I know what you're probably thinking if you haven't seen this before, like how is this a mouse? Well, you just do this. So this one was like 50% off because it was returned and I was like, I'm getting it. So I got it and I was loving it. And then I went to play Sims and it was awful. <laughs> I really can't do as much as I used to do. It's definitely not a gaming mouse, which I'm sure is obvious, but like wasn't obvious to me. Also, just a lot going on in general. We're redoing our dining room right now because my fiance wants to host Thanksgiving, which I mean, okay. I like when my mom does it, but yeah, sure. So when I finally did, I was like, I wanna do a starter home that someone can actually move into whenever they start off with The Sims. You know, that'd be really cool. However, I failed because when I built the house and I left it empty, it was like 45,000 simoleons. And I still uploaded it as a starter home, but I'm lying. Don't tell anyone. So this house took me about three hours to build, including decorating. Just the house itself was super easy. It was like 45 minutes. But decorating is like my most time consuming aspect, which kind of makes sense. But I really go in. I haven't noticed, I love mid-century modern. And this one was totally out of my realm. It's gray walls. It's very cozy. It's kind of congested, which makes sense for a starter home, you know, because I have a starter home and my house, even though it's got three stories and it's got four bedrooms, it's still really small. You, you can hear everything going on in every other room. So when I was editing, I mean, so when I was building this, I was playing song quiz with my fiance on our Amazon Alexa. I don't know if you guys have played that, but it's really, really fun. And so I have like these pauses where I'm just not doing anything because I'm like trying to guess the song. And then we had like a Mariah Carey night <laughs> and like, it was weird, <laughs> but um, yeah, editing was real fun because it's, it was like four and a half hours when I uploaded everything. And I was like, this did not take me that long. Yep, it was just me not doing anything for like 20 minutes at a time. So yeah. I also really, really, really love the landscaping on here. I wanted to do something. Okay, actually when I built this house, I was like, oh, a country cottage for a grandma. And then I realized I just did a grandma's home. Like I need to chill. So when I started doing the outside, I, out oh. sorry, my fiance just called me and it kind of really threw me for a loop. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I realized I just did a grandma's home and I was like, okay, you can't be doing a grandma's home again. So when I did the landscaping, I clearly had in mind that this Sim was a gardener and had a lot of time on their hands to maintain their lawn. But then when I got into the inside, it became more of like a young couple's home. And I'm gonna be honest, as a young couple myself, my yard don't look like this. Like this is a lie. 
either they hired a gardener or she, you know, he's making bank and they just decided to live minimal because there's no way. I mean, maybe there's a way. Some people are just not as lazy as I am. Also adding this soil trim around the like foliage really just makes it a little bit more realistic. I didn't start doing that until recently. So I love adding the ivy on the outside of the fence because I live in Baltimore. And if you've ever been to Roland Park, there is, or if I've ever seen pictures of Roland Park or heard of Roland Park, it's A, gorgeous, B, ivy galore. And I love ivy. I'm sorry, I know people really hate ivy when they have to get rid of it or whenever it starts outgrowing, but I love ivy. So adding ivy on the outside of the fence is a little bit of a plus. Um, I also really miss being able to do terrains and that's going back to like Sims 2. You couldn't do terrains in Sims 3 or could you? I don't remember. I didn't play Sims 3 that often. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me talk about this. Really not a fan of Sims 3. But in Sims 4, you can't do any hills. I mean, you can make basements and you can put rocks, but yeah, you can't really do any like up and down. And maybe that's just for gameplay. I don't know, but I really, really wish they would bring it back. Seriously wish they would bring it back. It makes things more, more believable. I mean, you just don't have flat ground everywhere. Come on. Kitchen's kind of small, but I really wanted to go for something believable. I mean, it's not gonna be a grand kitchen every single where you go, you know? So this is still part of the shell that I uploaded onto the gallery because I kept the kitchen. Cause I kind of wanted to make it look like, you know, you were buying a house where you walk into a house and you're looking at it. There's a kitchen and there's a bathroom and there's a laundry room, but there's no furniture. You don't just walk in and there's like nothing unless you're getting a gutted home. I feel like I had so much to talk about when I was thinking about filming this in the shower. And now I don't know what to talk about. Um, the living room also threw me for a loop because it was a really hard space to decorate. I mean, when you're decorating this living room, it's a box. You don't have any like net, like corners to put things into or closets or half walls. I mean, you got a doorway to the bedroom and the bathroom right there. And then you have an open archway into the kitchen and you gotta fit a dining room table somewhere or a computer or and a couch. So I kind of decided rather than doing a big couch, I was gonna split it up into two smaller couches and make them catty corner to one another and then put the TV in front of the window. And every single time I do this, I'm like, oh, would I really put a TV in front of a window? But then I think I'm thinking of it a little too realistically because you're gonna get sunlight from behind the TV. But your Sims aren't saying that, Olivia. So why are you worried about it? So I put the TV in front of the window. <laughs> Come at me. Hey! I don't know, I really like how this house turned out. Uh, I really hated it at first when I was starting with the living room because I knew the living room was gonna be my hardest part yet. But going through, it just turned out to be one of my most favorite decorated homes and I can't wait to get a family in there. I also did something new where I took those little pedestals and I kind of made them plant holders and I'm real excited about that. Especially this end table that I just moved, I make it even smaller and then it's a plant holder and I love that. I never thought of that before. I haven't ever really seen that either, but my mom has so many plant holders that like just all around the house. She is obsessed with plant holders. I also love that little cow thing. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Um, because it's fall and I love fall, I'm decorating this house in fall. However, I didn't go very in depth with the decorations because I don't know, first off, the season's decorations, can we talk about them? There are some really, really cute ones. And then there's some really like, I would never hang that in a house. So I kind of feel limited with the decorations because I feel like once I use them, I've used them. There's nothing really new I could do. However, I did do something new when I was doing the dining room table, which you will see. And I will point it out then because I'm not going to ruin it. I also didn't make up my mind if this was going to be a toddler or a child. I eventually went with child, but I still like the idea of having a toy basket in the living room because this is a small house and you don't have a lot of storage space. It's not like you really put storage space in Sims houses anyways. However, um, I just really like the idea of having the toys in the living room by the TV. It's like the parents are chilling out watching TV and the kids are going to be on the floor playing with those toys. I believe it. 
Um, I also do this thing where I see something I like and I don't know where I want to put it yet and I just kind of put it randomly until I get to it, which is what I just did with that little blue and brown shelf. Um, this rug I end up changing out eventually for something much, much better. And I don't know, I think this living room came together really, really nicely. It's a lot of clutter, but smaller houses do have a lot of clutter. Like, I can't wait to buy my next house because I kind of feel like after your starter home, you definitely upgrade, at least I'm hoping. If I go into another starter home, it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll still love it. However, I just really want to have enough space for like a big elk couch and a big coffee table and just have a lot of people in one room and not be like sweating from all the body heat. Just kidding. Oh, looks so good. I just want to live there. It just looks so cozy. Kind of reminds me of a townhome. Is anyone else getting a townhome vibe from this? Kind of getting a townhome vibe. There's the leaves. That's what I did differently. Never done that before. I was real pumped about it. Don't judge me. I just feel like everything came together so well for this home. And especially for being out of my comfort zone. Like I always want to do mid-century modern. And this one was more, you know, cottage country-like. And I'm just, I'm really pleased with it. I hope you guys like it too. If you want, you got to go download it. Hey, subscribe to my channel. So what's really funny about speeding these videos up is... They take me so long to make decisions when I'm trying to find colors. I'm like, hmm, how's that color look? And then I move the screen all around a little bit. I don't know why I have to look at things at different angles. Just who I am. So I take forever to decide on a color. And then when I finally do decide on a color, I'm like, wow, well, that took way longer than it needed to. And then when I go to speed up the video, it's like it. And I'm just like, that did not take me that small amount of time. I'm expecting to have to delete some of it because of how long it takes me to come up with a color. Nope, that was fine. I also, that um, cookbook that I just put on that counter over there, yeah, I forgot to move that. That was supposed to be moved, but I'm just gonna leave it there. Maybe your Sims just forgot that it was there. Um, also, when it comes to this rug, I end up falling in love with this rug that I put in, and then I decide I wanna put it in the living room as well. And I looked at my fiance and I was like, is it weird to put two rugs of the same color and same pattern in the room? And he was like, no, I actually think that looks really, really good. But he's also a man. So I don't know how much I trust his opinion. Can y'all let me know if it looks weird? Because I've never done that before. I've never been someone to put two of the exact same thing in one room, like a rug. I mean, obviously chairs and sofas and whatever, but a rug, I don't know. I'm weird about it. Just let me know. Because if that's normal, I'll keep doing it. If you like it, I'll keep producing it. Sorry, I'm a little weird. I have to go to Michael's today. I have to do some things. I really like it. I just think it fits very, very well for a young couple. When I was building it, I really did have it in my mind that this was going to be for an older couple. And I was like, I really need to stop doing that. Because when I play, I never play elders. Do y'all play elders? No, don't lie to me. Um, I play young couples. Sometimes I play one sim, but this is obviously not a one sim home. Um, also I realized doing the speed build thing because it's new to me. I mean, I've only been doing it for about a month and a half, two months that I get in these modes where I speed build and speed build and speed build and speed build and I don't play. And then I miss playing. So then I play and I play and I play and I don't speed build and like, does that happen to anyone else? Has anyone else experienced that, like, what's the word? What is the word that I'm looking for? Not obsession. Like, addiction? No. Habit? I don't know. It'll come to me. But I just feel like I am now back into speed building, and my I'm going to have to say goodbye to my Sims for a little bit. We were really getting somewhere for a little bit, but, you know, I'm back on a build thing. Um... Also, can we talk about how it's Halloween month? I really want to do a haunted house, but here's what I'm upset about. I can't do a haunted house. You want to know why? Because when I think of haunted house, I think of like Dracula or I think of a Victorian home with a U staircase, you know, the ones that go up and then there's a landing and then they go up this way or just they go up and turn this way like an L. Either way, 
I can't do that in The Sims. And I'm not going to build a Victorian home with a straightaway staircase or a staircase with two little steps and a landing. Like, I'm not going to do that. That's not authentic. I'm an authentic being. So it really sucks because I really want to build an authentic scary house and I can. Can The Sims please just bring back terrains and like free range staircases? It's all, it's not too much to ask for, please. So the child's room, when it came to the bedrooms, um, I put white carpet down and I was like, what am I thinking? I would never put white carpet in the house. Do you know how easily that would stain? And typically when you do see houses, they don't have white carpet, they have tan. Tan or beige or brown, but you never really see white. And this was like stark white, so I do end up changing that. And I was considering changing the walls for the bedrooms to make it more personalized, but then I kind of thought about it and I feel like with these houses, this interior decoration of gray walls everywhere, people really do keep the gray theme throughout the entire house. I've seen it. I know some of y'all have seen it if you're speed building and looking at houses. Like, same color literally everywhere. So I just went with it. But yeah, oh, okay. So when I'm building this room, right? Um, I put in this little art table. You probably saw it. it was gray. It was at the end of the bed. And then as soon, like while I was editing, I turned around and it was gone. I didn't delete it. I know I didn't delete it because I watched me build it. So I don't know where that went. Okay, well my fiance's home and I don't wanna be talking anymore because he's gonna be listening to me and that's just embarrassing. And he's also working on our dining room while I'm doing a bunch of YouTube stuff. <laughs> so I gotta run to Michael's. I'm gonna let this go into some music and eventually play out into some screenshots. Please like this video if you enjoy me and my content. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in my next video. Bye.